President Barack Obama prides himself on speaking directly to the people when he travels abroad. He did it in Cairo with his speech to the Muslim world. In Turkey, he held a town hall meeting with young people. And here in Russia, he'll attempt to make a similar connection. On Tuesday, Obama meets with civil society leaders and will deliver a speech at a university graduation. But he may not find the warm reception he's grown accustomed to in other parts of the world. We have heard too many sweet words. Russian political analyst Viktor Kremenuk says Obama will be battling with Russia's inherent skepticism of the West. Many people hear, you know, the West, the aliens, are always a source of threat. The attitude towards Americans has grown chillier in recent years. State media often depicts America as a hostile power and government officials have repeatedly blamed the U.S. for the global economic crisis. A recent poll suggests that just 23 percent of Russians are confident Obama will do the right thing when it comes to U.S.-Russia relations. Still, Russians have a high level of curiosity about Obama. They understand the, that Obama in some way is unusual <clears throat> U.S. president, you know, that the young man with the good, fresh ideas, it's interesting to hear, to listen to him, but at the same time some reserve, some reserve. The White House says the president will use Tuesday's speech to connect U.S. interests on issues like the economy and terrorism to Russia's. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, Moscow.